I'm here to say that the 1% should not have more than two-thirds of America's wealth sitting in their pockets and restrict the ability of the 99% to survive through economic terrorism. And that's what's occurring in this country right now. If you look at the top 1%, or even better, look at the top tenth of 1%, the 400 wealthiest Americans, and you look at the percentage of GDP that they've managed to capture, and you compare trends stretching back to 1917, actually, in the IRS database, you can see that the top 1% have captured as much of the GDP as they had in 1928, five years before the biggest economic meltdown that America's ever seen. They are back at that same level. We are facing, we're on the brink of America losing its superpower status because of the greed and blatant misuse and misappropriation of public power to take the wealth and to take the the voice of the masses away and consolidate it in the hands of the few. That's why we're here. That's why I'm here. And that's why we will occupy New York City and every other city across this nation and around the globe until things are fixed. After the Great Depression, the Glass-Steagall Act was enacted to protect America. The Glass-Steagall Act's dissolution in the form of the graham leach Bliley Act, which was signed by President Clinton, it was sponsored by three Republican senators, that allowed Too Big to Fail to come back into existence. Too Big to Fail is what caused the Great Depression. And now, through deregulation, we've allowed it to occur again. 